What's going on? How y'all doing? Hello. All right. When well, I see the Ohio tab, I'm not sure if y'all from here or not, but you can't be inside the park in the city of Atlanta between the hours of 11 p.m. 6 a.m. Atlanta police have released body camera footage linked to a viral video being shared on TikTok and Instagram alleging excessive force. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. The video shows an APD officer arresting a woman for being in a park after hours. Some say the video shows excessive police use of force. Fox Eyes' Alex Whitler has been scouring through both versions of this video. Joins us now from the live desk with details on what they show. Alex. Yeah, Courtney and Russ, this is one of those situations in which we know many of you are going to have some opinions about this. Some people say it seems like excessive force. Others say the officers did the right thing. Take a look. This is the viral moment that has infuriated people across the country. I'm so sick, my God, please, in the name of Jesus. In it, a woman says she's resisting arrest because an Atlanta police officer would not tell her why she was being arrested after the officer did not give her his badge number and full name. The hour-long body camera video from Atlanta police shows a different side of the story. Sir, you don't have to, sir, you do not have to tell her like that. A man and a woman are ticketed around 11.50 Monday night for being in Shady Valley Park after it closed at 11. You can hear the man reluctantly sign the ticket first. Can I have to sign it? Uh, you cannot sign it and go to jail. About a minute later, the woman starts to ask for the officer's information, which he provides. And what's your badge number? 7452. And what's your name? Officer Brooks. What's your first name? I'm not, I'm not going to give you my first name. She asks again. And I don't have to sign this, right? You do have to sign it. No, I don't. Well, like I explained to him, if you don't sign it, then you're going to be physically taken to jail. Gotcha. So you refusing to sign? What's your name? Officer Brooks, 7452. And here she asks a third time. What's the badge number? I gave it to you two times, ma'am. Okay, I'm asking again. And I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Are you going to sign it? No, because I want your badge okay. number. Seconds later, the officer explains he's going to arrest the woman and asks her to put her hands behind her back. I asked you to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing it. Uh, sir, put your hands I, behind I'm your asking back. you a question. Okay. I'm letting you know. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to forcibly put your hands behind your back. But, uh, sir, Mr. Brooks, is this really necessary? The video appears to show the woman refusing to put her hands behind her back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not saying that I'm refusing to sign the ticket. I'm going to no, sign the ticket. You don't have an option now. The officer and the woman struggle for several minutes. The woman continues to ask why she's being arrested as the officer continues to ask her to put her hands behind her back. Put your hands behind your back. Tell me why I'm being arrested. Right, I, have be right, I have the right. I have the right to know. Oh my God. Put your hands behind your back. Oh oh After six minutes, the officers take the woman into custody. Atlanta police released a statement. It reads in part, quote, signing the ticket is not an admission of guilt. Refusing to sign a citation is considered reasonable cause to believe the individual will not appear in court or pay the fine, and the officer may then physically arrest that individual. An officer is not required to read someone their Miranda rights prior to arresting them. And it goes on to say, if an officer explains you will be taken to jail for something and you choose to push the officer to that limit, you will end up in jail. Atlanta police say the officer was already in the area. It was part of an effort to step up patrols after two homicides at city parks in the last eight days. We have posted the social media clip, full body camera video, and APD's statement on our website, fox5atlanta.com. Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News. Alex, thank you for giving us that fuller perspective there.